Welcome in to the Fun Astrology Monday, August 7th podcast. Thomas Miller, thank you so much for joining us. We have a pretty quick week this week uh, in the sky, like we had talked about last week. Basically, there are two events this week. First on Wednesday, Venus in retrograde squares Uranus. Ray Merriman talked about this on Saturday. Wednesday morning, 7.08 in the morning, Eastern Time, and could have significant impacts on the financial markets. Then we begin the season of the trine. <laughs> As mentioned, this week and next week, there's a lot of trines coming up. Well, on Wednesday, Mercury trines Jupiter. On Saturday, the sun trines Chiron. Then on Sunday, the sun conjoins Venus. I believe also this week is when Venus hits the midpoint of its retrograde path. And what a great week to camp on that very idea and supported by the universe of our own transformation. We talked about this extensively back around July 22nd when Venus turned retrograde. So I would refer you back to those episodes on either side of July 22nd. But it's taking assessment of that which is most important to us, represented by Venus. So that's coming up on Sunday. We have a whole week to get ready for it. I would suggest spending some time every day carving out some of that personal time to be able to reflect on this very topic. Take some lipstick or a Sharpie or something and write it on your bathroom mirror so that it's right there. You're thinking self-examination of what's most important all week culminating on Sunday. Put a big circle with a dot in the middle and a heart. There you go. Now, we have a Taurian moon this morning. It moved in early, 225 this morning Eastern. But Luna squared Pluto on its way in and is opposite the nodes today. That brings in a little bit of uh, potential tension around our transformation. So there might be, as we talk about a lot, those tension areas are the catalyst that we use to expand and grow, but they can be tense. Because it's the moon, we're only talking about being in effect for a matter of a few hours. And it really would have been stronger on Sunday. But it is today in that separating or waning or moving away from aspect, if you will. Well, that's when I said it was quiet. That's all I've got for you. Seriously, <laughs> it's like there's nothing else on this chart that we haven't set up or put together last week or today. So tomorrow is a day off because there are no exact aspects. We'll come back on Wednesday and talk about that square between Venus and Uranus. You guys have a wonderful Monday and Tuesday. I'll see you back on Wednesday. Love you. Bye-bye.